Welcome to Touchline. I'm your host, Anthony Toterna. Beautiful summer day here in Southern Ontario for University Soccer. We're here covering women's and men's soccer, and what a day it is here at York Line Stadium. Barry McLean, head coach of Laurier Golden Hawks. First half, Barry, looked like both teams were struggling a little bit defensively. They settled down. Now it looks like the second half is going to be a barn burner. Yeah, it's going to be an interesting game. I mean, York are a vastly improved team. They're very well organized, and they like to pass the ball as we do. So I thought the first 15 or 20 minutes, we, we had more of the possession. The last 25 minutes, I think they've been pressing the game a little bit. But uh, I think a game could be a good game that comes down to one mistake. Head coach of the York Lions, Carmen Asacco, your thoughts on that first half? You had a couple chances, you couldn't capitalize, second half ready to go? Uh, yeah, I'd like to be a little cleaner. I mean, it's a good team, it's a well-organized team. They pass the ball, they move well. I think our, our defensively, our shape's got to be a little more organized, and I think we'll create more things off of turnovers defensively. Um, but uh, but uh, I just wish we, we had a little more swagger to not be afraid to play, you know, rather than being afraid to make a mistake playing through things. Good luck in the second half, coach. Thank you. Thank you. Sarah Fiorina, York Lions goalie, what a first game it was. You came up with a couple big saves late in the game. Your team looked a little bit tentative at the beginning, but at the end they poured it on. Yeah, we had a, we had a shaky start at the beginning, obviously, first, first season game. We had jitters, but I think we picked it up and we learned how to play together and it started flowing and obviously we wanted a result, but I think in the end it was a great game and we'll just keep working and moving forward. Absolutely. Sarah, talk about your youth days in Ontario. What are some of the clubs you played for? Well, growing up, I played in Newmarket in Aurora. That's where I grew up. And then I played for Brampton um, in my grade 12 year looking for schools. And then lately, I've just been playing in the W League. So. Well, who are you playing for in the W League? Um, this past season, I played for the Lynx, the Toronto Lynx. So. How has that experience been? It was very good. Um, I played a few games. I had four games and they, were, they went pretty well. It was a good team. Now, what year are you in here at York University and what are you studying and what do you aspire to be one day? I'm in fourth year and I'm studying film. So I'm in film studies, so I'm just studying the business and academics of film. And um, I don't know yet what I want to be. So. Well, we wish you the best of luck in the rest of the season and some good saves out there and keep up the good work, all you and your teammates at York Lions. Thank you very much. That is Sarah Fiorini, York Lions goalie.
head coach of the York Lions, Karma Sacco. What a first half. Your half was outstanding offensively, but you could still see the Lawyer is going to come back and give you everything they have left. Absolutely. They have something to prove this half, and, and hopefully we're tuned into that, and hopefully we come, come out to match their intensity and probably do better. Um, but we scored goals, yes, but we, it's hit some problems, and uh, we've, we've got out of situations that we want to avoid in, in the future. A coach like you wants perfection. I could sense it from the bench. You're still not happy with some of the passes, some of the things the boys are doing, even up by three. What do you want from them in the second half? I just don't want to make it so easy for them. I don't want to rely on, on the inabilities of, a, of another team. I want to defend properly. I want to get pressing around the ball properly. Those are the things we need to do as a unit. I mean, yes, uh, we did okay to, again, react to situations, but we need to avoid those situations. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Thanks, Anth. Head coach of the Laurier Golden Hawks, Mario Halliper. What did you say to your team at halftime? An offensive display by York, but I'm sure your boys are going to come out and give it all they got in the second half. Well, we'll do our best. I mean, uh, to all credit to York. They played well. Uh, they spread the field out as, uh, as well as they can. And, uh, you know, they put, we, we dropped off after the goal. We just sort of dropped off. And uh, we didn't give ourselves any sort of opportunity to compete. And that's, you know, that's part of the problem. Some of your first-year players might have some jitters, Coach. What do you say to them? Well, you know what? Well, we've actually put a few more first-year players in because uh, we know at some point in time they got to get accustomed to the game. And I think for us, it's a it's a building program for sure. Where this year is going to be a, probably a, a challenging year, but you know what? Uh, we're building for the future, so that's all we can look forward to. Good luck in the second half, Coach. Thank you very much. Right now joining us are two defenders here with York Lions and what a big victory, 4-0 over the Laurier Golden Hawks. And let's start with Casey DeMello. Casey, it looked like the first half you guys dominated, but then it seemed like the second half they had you on your heels for quite a bit. Uh, yeah, definitely, you know what? Um, we scored a few and then they came out strong like they always do and we were expecting that and uh, we just had to deal with it because that's how teams will come out against us, right? And we had a bit of ups and downs, but like as a group we recover and we do much better. Farm, you were solid in the air today, two big goals for your team, but again, the second half you could sense that there was something different, but let's talk a little bit about that first half. What was working well for you guys? I mean, we, we kept the ball well, you know, we, uh, we tried playing the ball in the corners, we found them, the set pieces were perfect, and I took two goals off that, right, so, <laughs> and then all that matters, we got the W, so, good. Last question to you, Casey, we know that you're one of the veterans on the team here, and there's some, a lot of young guys actually, not some. What are you telling these young guys at halftime? What are you telling them uh, throughout the game if you're partnered up with them? Well, you know what? I, I tell them like I tell any other player. It's not about veterans and uh, like rookies coming in. It's all about, hey, you're on the same field, the same same team, and like you don't look up to me, I don't look up to you. We're we're a team, and we all have same. We have we all have our own responsibilities and roles, and just do it, and everything will work out perfectly. We are now joined by two Laurier Golden Hawks guys. Tough loss, Justin, but let's talk about that second half. I noticed there was something different. The first half, you got to give it to York, they dominated. But the second half, you guys came on wave after wave and you were pressing and pressing. Yeah, well, we tried our best. We tried to play as a team, as a unit, rather than individuals. So I think that really kind of depicted how we played out on the field. Like, our coach is telling us in the change room, we can't be a bunch of individuals on the field. We have to play as a team, and then that's how we get the best result. How tough is it going to be on that ride now going back home? Because you know that this was the first game and it was a tough loss. What can you build on in the second half? Well, you're right about that. It's a tough loss, so the bus ride will be extra long. But I feel as though we're going to rebound from this. We're going to know that tomorrow's a new day, a new game. I come out here and play extra hard, try to get that win back, get a few points back. Absolutely. How many first-year players, Justin, are on this team that you need to work with? Um, there are actually quite a few. Um, we have a basically, once again, a new team. But like we're all very talented. We're technically gifted, so I think that... It just, you know, this is a learning curve, so... Um... Absolutely, guys, keep your head up. Good luck the rest of the season. And again, it's great to watch Canadian University soccer at its best. We thank you for joining us here at York Lions Stadium. And once again, it is University Soccer starting out 2012 season. Thanks for joining us. And once again, if you want to check out scores, standings, and schedules, go to OUA.ca. And thanks again for joining us here on Touchline.